Hi, music makers. I'm sound designer and composer Gary Hibner here from On Track Tuts. And in this video, I want to go over the collaboration with Splice and Studio One. Presonus has really been up to some good news in the last few weeks. And a big one has been the collaboration with the company Splice. Two things have come out of this. You can now use Splice to upload and store your projects on the Splice Cloud service, which is a great backup tool. Plus, it can be even used for collaborations, which I'll show you later in this video. And also, there's now even the rent to own option for Studio One through Splice, which really is amazing. The link to this is in the description. And the reason that this is so amazing is that it makes it even easier to get to the full version. For only like $17 a month, you have full access to Studio One Professional. And it isn't a subscription service. After 24 months, it's yours. As you can tell, I'm not really a fan of the subscription model. I like to own what I have. So the rent to own option is really a way better way to go. And they're also the first DAW to market with this rent to own option. So personas are definitely ahead of the pack. Well done, guys. But in this video, I want to discuss how you can use Splice as a backup tool and collaboration tool. First off, you need to download Splice. You can go to this website over here that allows you to download the desktop app. You can also see the supported operating systems and the other DAWs it supports. As you can see, Studio One is still in the beta phase, so they're still ironing out the hiccups on the platform. But I'm sure they're going to iron them out and it's going to be a great way to work. Here's the installer on the Mac side. I'm just going to double click it to run the installer. I'll click open. This will start the download installer for the application onto my machine. Cool. So once that's finished downloading and installing, it brings up the Splice application. You need to sign up and create an account, or if you've already got an account, you can put in your details. So I already have an account, so I'm going to put in my details and log in. Now this brings up the next window where I can choose what I want to do. I can sync my projects and also from the Splice platform, you can download sounds and purchase plugins. So I'm going to go to sync your projects. And as you can see, I've actually used Splice before. I used it a while back when I wanted to test it out with some Logic and Ableton projects. So these are all my tracks that I've actually added onto the Splice platform. You'll also see in the top right here, from here you can also access the application. Now, let me find a Studio One song and show you how you sync it up to Splice. So I've got this song over here of mine. I'm just going to open it up. It goes like this. And I have done an export mixdown of the song. And I'll show you why that's important a bit later. So I will just close this now. Now let me show you where you save this project so that it can sync up with the Splice service. If you click this button over here, you can go to Preferences. This shows you your user account details. If you want Splice to start up on launch up, which is quite a nice option, then down here, this is where the Splice folder is and where you need to put your projects in. Anything that's in this folder is going to get synced up to the Splice service. I can go to the folder over here, and then all I need to do is drag this folder into the Splice folder. And because Studio One is currently in the beta phase with Splice, you also need to make sure that under the preferences that you have switched to the beta version. When you choose to switch to the beta version, it will do a new download and install of this version. So now in beta mode, you can see that it supports the syncing and backup of Studio One projects. So enable this. And now you can see it's starting to pull this new song. This is refresh the list and it starts by syncing and updating the media to the Splice servers. You also have some other extra options here where you can go to the folder, you can show it on web or even delete the project and even add collaborators. 
So if you're collaborating with someone on a Studio One project, you can click here, it'll open up the web interface of Splice, and here you can either search for usernames on Splice or add their email and ask them to join the project with you. So Splice really is a good backup tool for backing up your Studio One projects, plus as a collaboration tool. Now next, I want to take it even a step further and show you how you can use Splice's eDNA web browser tool to use as a collaboration tool with other artists and producers. So in this web browser window over here, if I now click across to the timeline, here you can see that latest Studio One song that I've added in. And the unique thing about this with the eDNA is that it actually gives you this good breakdown of your song. As you can see, you've got each track name. You can also see where all the parts are on the song within the arrangement. Now that's pretty cool. It also shows you which version of Studio One that's included. And if you're using any third-party plugins and effects, it'll also list these. So that's pretty cool. And also it's showing you the tempo and the time of the song. Another neat thing that you can do is you can attach an audio preview of your song. Now, remember I said in the beginning that I actually exported out my song. So if you click on this button, you can navigate to a folder on your system and use your exported sound as a preview for this project. So that is in my Splice folder. Here's the song, Studio One Splice, and exports. Here I did an MP3 mix down of that song. I'll select choose. Now this will upload that song. And the beauty of this is if you wanna share this web address with someone, then they just have to open it up and they can click play and hear and audition the song before doing anything else. Then if they like the song and they want to collaborate with you, they can click open in Studio One and what this will do with all its associated media files and there they'll have your song to work on. You can also add additional descriptions to your song, plus comments can be added. Let's say you're songwriting with someone and you're both using Studio One and you're both using Splice as a source of cloud storage and to collaborate on a song. Then you can add comments to here so you can each follow along on the comments. Maybe you want to say, awesome, I really like the part at two minutes. So it'll follow along and give you these comments to really help you produce the tracks and arrange them while you're collaborating with someone else. When that song has been uploaded and transcoded, now you've got a view like this. You can audition the whole song. Skip to different areas. And also download the stereo audio bounce. So that's sort of just touching on the benefits of using Splice as a platform for backing up your Studio One songs and to use it as a collaboration tool with other artists. So I'd highly recommend trying this. First, as a backup tool to make sure that you're backing up your Studio One songs to the cloud in case of the worst case scenario. Maybe your machine crashes and you haven't got all your material backed up. Then this is a source where you can quickly jump back and retrieve all your songs. And then second off, as a collaborative tool, we can work with any artist around the world by having one unique place that you can all go to, to pull your Studio One songs, to open up the projects, to add comments, and just really build up a good collaboration between other musicians and producers. Awesome. So I hope this has given you an eye-opener into what's possible with Splice as a platform for Studio One. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to click on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. That's me, Gary Hibner from OnTrack Sats, signing out.